Picture this. In the middle of a lesson, one of your students deliberately makes a comment that causes the other students to laugh. Before you know it, your whole lesson is lost. You're snapping at the class in a way that doesn't calm them down, and you spend the rest of the day, or even several days, wondering if you're a terrible teacher. Sound familiar? This scenario is one of many that add to a teacher's daily stress level, which, over time, can lead to burnout, a major issue for those in our profession. Adding to this stress is often a teacher's own lack of strategies for dealing with the intensity of their job. But there is something that teachers can do to develop their social-emotional skills, not only to guard themselves against burnout, but also to help their students deal with the daily stresses of school. The practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is defined as paying attention in the present moment, on purpose, and without judgment. Now anyone who is taught knows that paying attention in the present moment is incredibly difficult because of the thousand demands on a teacher's attention all at once. Judgment is a very easy state of mind to slip into when you're confronted by a misbehaving child. You not only judge that child, but you judge yourself for judging him or her. Mindfulness is a way to deliberately cultivate positive qualities such as empathy and compassion in both yourself and your students. Mindfulness teaches us to notice our thoughts or thought patterns without judging them as good or bad. Once we've neutralized these thoughts, we can choose to take a more compassionate stance toward ourselves, realizing that we all face challenges and everybody's doing the best that they can. We may never be able to stop that student from making an inappropriate comment, but we can control our reaction to it, which ultimately may make the student think again before making the same mistake. So what are the applications of mindfulness for teachers? Well, the more we practice coming back to the present moment with kind awareness, the easier it actually is to be present, a vital quality for educators and the students they work with daily. The demands of the classroom require us to have simultaneously both expansive and focused attention, two complete opposites. Mindfulness enables us to connect deeply with ourselves so that we in turn can authentically connect with others. A school can only succeed when all of its parts are running smoothly. We can all approach our interactions with others in our community with more gratitude and understanding. The most valuable gift that each one of us has to offer is our own presence. It's not always what you teach, but how you teach it. The love and joy behind your teaching is truly the strongest impression that you will leave with your students. Mindfulness offers a way to tap into this joy. It's not that we need more time in our day to be mindful, but we need to bring more awareness, love, and mindfulness into our daily lives.